So the other day, Overwatch 2 decided to do the smart thing and, you know, stop confusing their customers thinking that they will be able to buy the next battle pass with the in-game credit. Because guess what? These aren't the Overwatch credits, all right? These aren't the new ones. These are the legacy credits, which means you are able to buy these skins with it. You're not able to buy these skins with them. See, there's two different credits, you know. There's a reason why they had to change the colors. People got really confused thinking that, oh, Overwatch is actually becoming a decent game for once, so they're gonna allow us to rebuy the battle pass next season. Nope, no, they do not give two fucks about that. <laughs> they do not care about that. That is not what these credits are for. Now, you can unlock at least 1,500 credits from the battle pass for free. At least they got something right. You can also unlock another 500 credits if you buy the battle pass. I'm gonna be honest, if you played Overwatch 1, this is the most useless system known to man because you already have all the skins, or most of the skins, that you want because you can't buy the cool DLC skins that came out in different times. No, you can only buy, like, the base skins. The skins that came with the characters. Now, is this gonna be good for whenever the new characters come out? Like, I'm pretty sure you can buy, like, yeah, see, you can buy, like, the base Kiriko skin with these. I, I, like, at least we get some free skins whenever the new characters come out. But still, it's kind of dumb that you just don't give us one credit system so we can just buy the one skin that we want. I don't think Overwatch knows this, but you guys make pretty good skins. We just don't want to buy all of them. They're very expensive if you don't know. So just having one of the new skins per season is a very good trade-off to, you know, having to pay 20, 30, maybe even 40, 50, 60 dollars for like a set of skins that you want. At this point, I'm pretty sure Overwatch, they're just trying their best to like weasel their way out of actually giving us a good product. They just keep doing every weasley little thing to get us out of this good product. Because let's go into the shop and let's look at the new Genji skin. Divine Monkey Genji. I'll be honest, pretty good skin. Not buying it, well, for a variety of reasons, but also because I just, I just bought the new Hanzo skin. And the new Hanzo skin was significantly more worth it. It has sound effects, don't get me wrong, I wish it had some better VFX, but you know what? At least they added something new to the character that actually made it slightly easier to swallow the $20 pill. At least then I could be like, they put some effort into it. They added new sound effects to it. They don't even do that for their new skins anymore. That was like a one-off thing. Hopefully they continue doing it, but it should be regularly done for all of the $20 skins. I would assume since you're gonna be raising the price of skins, maybe you should, you know, put a little bit more effort into them. Just so people can feel like, hey, I'm not getting completely ripped off. And you already have a whole audio engineering team. Why are they not working on sound effects for the skins? It probably would take them a few days, if not weeks to do this. But those are my thoughts on them finally changing the credit colors so everyone realizes that Blizzard's not a good company. <laughs> Again, they, they were never going to give you a free battle pass. What are your guys' thoughts on this? Tell me in the comments down below. But other than that, hopefully you all have a nice night, sweet dreams, and I'll see you all in the next video.